More on Rita Wilson's breast cancer battle. The actress revealing a second opinion saved her life. And now lots of women with questions this morning as the American Cancer Society says more than 230,000 new cases of invasive breast cancer will be diagnosed in women this year. She's the talented actress and the devoted wife of Academy Award funny man Tom Hanks. And now Rita Wilson has her own personal story to share, revealing to the world her invasive breast cancer diagnosis. The 58-year-old exclusively tells People magazine she has undergone a double mastectomy and reconstructive surgery. But there is an even darker side to her story. She was originally misdiagnosed, and those initial findings missed the cancer. Wilson tells People magazine, a friend who had breast cancer suggested I get a second opinion on my pathology and my gut told me that was the thing to do. This is truly a life-changing gut instinct and even though a doctor told her someone she felt she could trust told her she didn't have anything wrong with her there was just something kind of bugging her inside that made her want to go get that second opinion. The second and third opinion confirmed it was indeed cancer showing that taking charge of your own health is vital. Dr. Christy Funk is Angelina Jolie's breast surgeon and is not treating Wilson. I always tell women, look, you've been with your breasts every single day since you were born. So if you think something is new and changing or just wrong, you should persevere. Wilson says she shares this to educate others that a second opinion is critical. You have to be responsible for getting the proper screening and when bad diagnoses happen to you, you need to take the responsibility. Sometimes that involves a second opinion. Wilson says, I hope this will encourage others to get a second opinion and to trust their instincts if something doesn't feel right. And joining us now is ABC News senior medical contributor, Dr. Jennifer Ashton. And Jen, uh, Rita had something called invasive lobular cancer. Right. Tell us what that is. Well, you know, we have to remember that when we talk about breast cancer, it's like saying we're going to talk about the weather. Are you talking about a heat wave or a snowstorm? And lobular refers to the part of the breast anatomy where the abnormal, or abnormal cells started. So people shouldn't get too bogged down in the initials or the terminology. This particular type, which starts kind of as LCIS, those are the letters, it's a marker lesion, so it tells us, watch out, this person's at high risk for developing invasive lobular cancer at some time in the future, anywhere in either breast. Is it difficult to diagnose? You know, any type of cancer can be difficult to diagnose because, again, we've talked about it before. We're trying to reconcile what we see on an imaging test, like a mammogram or an MRI, to what a pathologist sees when they look at a slide. But, but I was still so surprised to hear how often diagnoses differ. Well, listen, you know, in the ideal world, George, it should never happen. But we have to remember doctors are human beings. We do make mistakes. We never want to. But it's actually more common to have a, a diagnosis by pathology downgraded, initially saying it was cancer and then downgraded rather than upgraded, although both can happen. And you know, if you think about what goes on in the operating room, we take a, a specimen out of the body. Sometimes in the case of a breast tumor, it might be like a marble. Then the pathologist takes it to their lab and slices it like a loaf of bread. And they look at those slices and those slides. And you know, when you put your eyes on a microscope, it's not like a neon sign flashes up yeah. cancer. This is a skilled thing that depends on judgment and experience. Experience and a lot of factors. So with that said, should we just always get a second opinion? No, because that's not necessary. It's not logistically feasible. And again, you absolutely want to trust your instinct. If you feel uncertain, don't hesitate. You're never going to offend anyone. But in many hospitals, especially when you're talking about breasts, women should know it's very, very common for two pathologists to look at every specimen. It happens at my hospital. It happens at many, many hospitals all, all across the that's country. Great. And I know so many women out there and men will have questions for you and you're available. Dr. Jen Ashton will be Twitter. taking your questions throughout the morning. Tweet her at Dr. J. Ashton. I just want to say we're all thinking of Rita and her family mm -hmm. and wishing her the very yeah. best. Absolutely. And Jen, thank you so you much. Bet. Important information.